Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. We're coming at you with another peat shootout. Boom, we're shooting it. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> we're done with the peat. <laughs> we got the Dalmore, Portwood. It would be like the return of the peat, right? Oh, Dalmore, Peatwood. We're on the <laughs> Portwood. Didn't catch it. Yeah, he calls it the Peatwood. We're beating Let's it out. Test it. Test it! Okay, I, I believe this is brand new to market, or newer. It's brand new in our area, anyway. Um, and I got to tell you, when I saw it on the shelf, I saw Dalmore Portwood. I looked, 46.5%, which is awesome. not common for Dalmore. Nope. A lot of times they're at 40 or 43. Yep. Yeah, Bam. exactly. Um, Scotch God, shout out. Shoot our sh our <laughs> Scotch God shout out this episode goes to the Edmonton Scotch Club. Yes, and Travis Watt, who began the Drams for for Drams for Fams fundraiser, raising money for local food banks. Yes, uh, they asked us to be involved this year. We did. We did a live stream tasting with Mark Gillespie. Travis joined in. We looked at some spring banks <laughs> with donations that came in during the show, and afterwards we raised seventeen hundred dollars for our local food bank. That's awesome. Yep. Yep. And they were thrilled. They were thrilled. Yeah. They called yeah. because you got to put in your email, phone right. number, all that. They called. Because you just kind of uh, did it low key. They were like, uh, are you sure you meant to give that money? Yeah. Was that a mistake? <laughs> and you're like, no, that, that is We correct. were just calling to see why you did <laughs> yeah. this large donation. Yes, it's a pretty large donation. So thank you <laughs> to all the drams for fans. Mm-hmm. Because that was neat. And then they sent a nice little uh, email as well saying, once I'm gonna again, tell you, I'm gonna thank you. Just a little bit okay. more because I I've wasn't sure sampled where. this and it's pretty good. Gotcha. All right. I wasn't sure how much you want. Um, there's some Dalmore haters out there. And all I'm going to tell you is if you... Squeak it. Because the 40%, okay. Dalmore does use some colorant. colorant. Some. <laughs> so 40% in colorant, people don't like... There's some haters like on colorant. Dalmore. I, I like the Dalmore 12. I'm mm -hmm. not sure on that. I bet you it's chill filtered. And the King Alexander, seriously, is one of my favorite. It is. Uh, uh, I scotches. like the cigar malt. Yeah. So, now, and this one, I already had posted some pictures on, you know, Instagram, Twitter, and uh, or uh, and was on some live streams and talked about this. And I already got some hate about it being a non-age statement. And it is. It's an in, in NAS. Right. So, I'm... Preliminary, if you're hating on Dalmore and you're not going to buy this because it's an NAS, you are missing out. Yeah. Yeah. I I kind of thought we were past the NAS thing. You know, it's still living strong out wow. there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because, uh, well, let's be fair. Whiskey marketing pushed that quality has to do with age and people bought off on it. Mm-hmm. Then there starts to not be as much quantity at age, and they shift to, hey, NAS is a great. <laughs> Judge the whiskey on the whiskey. Now, you were looking before we got started. This does say aged in ex-bourbon barrels and finessed. Finessed. I started port. to say finished, and then I was like, hold on. Let me get my bifocals out. <laughs> I was like, that says finessed. Finessed. F-I-N-E-S-E, or sorry, S-S-E-D. Mm. By uh, finessed by aged tawny port pipes. What does that mean? That's it, what I'm saying. It's that's better than finished. I don't finessed. think it's better. I think it's lighter. Finessed. I think is, it's like they they like finished is just like what happens on the farm. Finessed is magical. I don't know. I was gonna say finished is like you early on prom night, but it's late. What? <laughs> I don't know. That's finished. <laughs> what? It's just the dance. You were done. Okay. Sorry. It's early. It's late. Finessed. That'd be me on prom night. Finessed. Now, I will tell you, it took a couple of drinks out of this to get to the port to where I could pick up the port. I can smell it. Yeah. It was, when I first popped the bottle, I wasn't getting it. If you gave it to me blind, I'm not sure I would know. Well, it's got a great nose, though. It really a lot does. Of grape. grape and berries. Yeah. Caramel. Hmm. Oak. 
It's like it's been finessed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 348, by the way. Oh, yeah. I've got uh, 349. 349. Hmm. Yeah. Dark berries. Good out there. Good alcohol punch, too. Great. At the 46. All over it. Hmm. 46.5%. Cinnamon. Hmm. Cinnamon vanilla. Like a cinnamon vanilla brulee. A cinnamon roll. I did you wrong earlier. I apologize. Why? With the whole prom thing. Yeah. <laughs> I was wrong. I didn't know you back then. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you went in for a sip. A cinnamon roll. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Yes. Mmm. Mmm. The port is there. Raspberries. Mmm. Ooh. Caramels. <sighs> Raspberry cheesecake. This one's missing from you a little bit. It's a little tart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there is, a, there is a little tartness to it. I get a lot more tart... tartness off of it. And I like pork finishes. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. I'm digging it. Raspberries, blackberries, caramels, vanillas, spices. Wow. And I don't have notes. I've had a couple of jams, but I've just really enjoyed them. Didn't didn't pull out the pen and paper and take notes hmm. or my I do get thumb. a little of the caramel almost like caramel apple mm. with the little, fruity notes almost a little green apple could be that maybe that's mm -hmm. the tartness coming through mm. it's like no it's like a uh, Halloween a caramel apple right that's what caramel I'm saying, green yeah. apple mm. with that tartar greenness yeah mm -hmm. Granny Smith mm-hmm Not to try with water. Yep. She is a squeaker. <laughs> that was an opening. <laughs> Let's see. You know, I got to get used to. I know I missed a new dropper. Yeah, it's it's down low. Probably so you don't confuse it with which one you're going for. We should have warmed up with the drink. You're a little... Uh, Am I off? Yeah. Sorry. I apologize. I didn't think I was off. It's even there just explaining that. I'm sorry. I didn't know I was off. Well, I'm very apologetic. <laughs> it's late. We usually we're not doing late shows. It's been a full week. I came from an MAYB tournament. My kid was in. You were at a drink fest. Got to keep that on for the weekend. Oh, that's why. I was wondering why it was on. Mm -hmm. I uh, worked all week, busy, covered everything pretty much by myself today, and then came home and bowed. Mm. But I figured the manga would bring out something. But it's not. It's not. <laughs> it's not. The dragon has not awoken. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm. Dragon has not awoken. I get a little bitter nut. Mm. Mm. All right. Not bitter. Roasted almond. All right. You ready to score? I'm going 91. 85. <laughs> Mm hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I think it's delicious. It's got a great mouthfeel. I dig me some pork. There's several layers to it. Good finish. It's hanging in the 46% is good. I'm proud of Dalmore for doing that. 
So see, uh, that no. box right there, what's the tasting notes on the back side? Okay. What's the official notes? Okay. What are we supposed to be getting? I need another port. Let me take a look at another port. What are we uh, supposed to on, be getting? Well, on the nose, sweet red berries, okay. Seville oranges, mm. plummy fruits, and sticky toffee pudding. Okay. On the palate, nectarines, creamy caramel, roasted chestnuts, and Java coffee. Finnish sult sultanas, sanganillo blood oranges, and macerated cherries. Mm. You want any of this? I'll try it. Okay. The tomatin, so you pulled out the tomatin 14 port finish. Hmm. This, some of the classic Dalmore notes are there with the port wood as well. Dalmore was the first scotch I had that had those dark, that I really got the darker sherry caramel toffee notes with. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I definitely get the, uh, to me, it's uh, more like that bitter almond. Um, there's like a hint of tobacco in there, along with the great juiciness. Hmm. How much would you say is it worth it? Well, um, hmm. the compared to the tomatin, the tomatin is lighter. It is. Uh, the Dalmore has a lot more of the the port slash sherry type notes. The darker fruits are are more present. The caramel, the the tomatin next to it feels more like a port finish, where this, the, the Dalmore, feels more like almost exclusive port maturation. I would have said finessed. <laughs> <laughs> they, this is 46%. They finessed the hell out of it. <laughs> this is 46% as well. Um... I'm sticking with a 91. It's $90 a bottle, and yes, it's worth it. I would buy another bottle of it. Wow. All right. Well, you could buy my bottle. <laughs> the bitterness turns me off a little bit. Uh, some people love it. So if you like that bitter nut, it's right in there. There's, uh, and it, It's not a bad bitter nut. It's just the, the almond flavors of the, the bitter side of it uh, for me. Um, Surprise me a little bit. Maybe I need to spend a little more time with it. I'll admit to that. It's been a long week. But I uh, I think it could be some that I expected more of the port. Uh, good description because I, I was thinking more. Uh, I would get more of that port wine finish. With the Dalmore? Mm -hmm. And the nose was kind of leaning me that way too. Mm-hmm. Well, and it showed up more now than it was at first. The first drink or two out of it. The first drink it was missing, and I was kind of like, okay. Really? Yeah. So what were really you getting, getting on up. the first drink? Just hadn't opened Just, up it was, yet? Yeah, it hadn't opened up yet. It was more the traditional Dalmore notes all around. Everything, taste, everything. Everything. Yeah. And then after the, the second drink had come out of it was when it opened up. Yeah. See, I got an explosion of the port wine there. On the tomatin or on mm -hmm. the an explosion of it. Yeah. I mean I can just pick up the wine note in there big time. I'm not that smells like water. <laughs> I'm not getting anything. <laughs> there isn't there's no explosion of port on there. If you're getting an explosion of port, it's from the Dalmore. Uh uh. Right there. Hmm. 
It's like a vineyard in my nose. Earth. The uh, the skin of the grape, which has a name, which people were mad because I like to call it the rind. It's called something else. Hmm. All right. Traveling dummy. We have a great one coming. Great one. This one came as Sarah. a little gift on Facebook. Yep, Sarah. Now, you got it pulled up, though, the actual comment. I've got the picture. Yeah. She was traveling, doing some backpacking, some hiking. All over Scotland. Yep. Let me get off the picture and shift over. So, we'll just use Sarah. We won't put out her last name because she didn't want it out there. Wore your shirt all over Scotland. Our group hiked the West Highland Way, and I made sure we hiked with a bottle of scotch. And then we're throwing up this cool. She's wearing her Glen Karen shirt. She's got mm -hmm. a cool yellow hat on. Boom, it's up there right now. She's got a little thumbs up going, and I'm digging it. And I love the Does it, does the it sign. say where she's at, though? Not there. I'm sure it's somewhere like a like an inn that's noteworthy yeah. because li uh, live, love, love laugh. laugh. And I can't read the uh, thing be below it there, though. Love that. Um, that was a very, very nice uh, Facebook photo. So, by the way, I'm not on there a lot. We've talked about it, but uh, Facebook, Scotch Test Dummies. So you can send us stuff there. You can also send your traveling dummy photos to Bart at Scotch Test Dummies or Scott at Scotch Test Dummies. Mm -hmm. Instagram, Twitter. They're there as well. Yep. Uh, we've actually had quite a few come in lately. If you've got a trip planned, take us with you. <laughs> we want to travel with you virtually. All right, we've had uh, we've had the Eiffel Tower, right? Mm -hmm. We've got a Yellowstone one coming up soon. Mm -hmm. We've been to um, I forget the name of the city, but uh, a statue of Martin Luther was there. Where else have we been? Uh, New York, Times Spain. Square, Spain, um, lots of places. We've been all over. So, and we want to continue traveling. So, sin. You're traveling dummies picks. Mm -hmm. ah. Support us on Patreon. Go to scotchtestdummies.com. Buy some merchandise. It all helps the show. It helps mm -hmm. us keep going. Damn, you can get that. Look at that. Custom. It's got a little stamp on it. We're, We're going to have a drink get Bart pepped up here a little bit. We're going to get a little pep going. A little pep's going to come on because we're going to scotch it. You scotch got. Cilantro. Dummies. dummies.